So I'll share one experience. Uh, just started my career with Pocart actually. And uh, we had a vice president and I used to get a lift to go home in the evening sometimes when I'm lucky. Otherwise I used to catch bus. So from uh, Bandu plant to uh, Western Express Highway, it's quite a journey. So he had a pass uh, for the shorter route. So he used to say like many times that uh, if you disagree with a person at a leadership role, uh, first try to understand what he is doing, why he is doing and what are the circumstances. Walk 10 steps with him and then if you want to differ, then differ with his permission. And uh, it has helped me a lot. And just to answer your question, uh, because I was sitting like you are sitting at some point in time. Uh, I think the, uh, the two, three things that I used to also sit in the, uh, in the auditorium and listen to lectures from people who used to come. Uh, uh, but, but even the faculty who used to talk uh, at, at the auditorium and others, if you look at the theme that's been there in UBC, it's always been about how can we improve efficiency, how can we reduce cost, how can we make things more affordable, right? That's been the general theme, how can we make science uh, more relevant, how can we make technology which is, uh, you know, more applicable to industry and, and solve the challenges. So when I actually uh, got the opportunity to work, when I actually got the opportunity to sit for an interview, and, uh, and I actually did get selected. Uh, I found a company which had the same values, that we were trying to do something affordable. Uh, so when I actually went and spoke to my uh, you know, research supervisor, my guy, uh, Professor Joshi, and he said, I have actually been selected, I wasn't very thrilled that, uh, that I had actually been recruited. Uh, because he said, uh, that, you, that was not I, what I wanted you to do. Then I had to explain to him that these were the these are the reasons, these are the values that I have, I have uh, co-linked. This is what UDCP does. I see the same values. If you still think I shouldn't do this, then I will not do it. So, uh, but as you rightly said, 20 years down the line, it works out uh, the right way. I have a slightly different experience to share. So when I started off my career with Biocon actually, and you know, Kiran that time had a lot more time than now and she used to spend lots of time kind of mentoring us, just speaking to us in the cafeteria, etc. There was this one particular thing that she said, and this is really early on, I had just kind of graduated, you know, started working with her. At that point, she kept stressing on, on something that I thought was really irrelevant, you know, women, diversity, you know, workforces, getting women back into workforces, etc. So for me as a student, I'm uh, like, yeah, sure, you know, I'm not married, I'm not, I don't have any, you know, kind of liabilities and contingencies, etc. So getting to work and getting kind of higher orders into my career was not a big deal. Now thinking of it, it makes so much sense. And for somebody early on to bring this perspective, I was truly blessed to have that very early and to be mentored like that. So that for me was pivotal. And I, I think there are very few and rare chances that you get things like this and therefore mentorship, which is something that I mentioned before, becomes very critical.